It's 75 degrees at 524. The basic move of getting into and out of a car is something most of us probably do multiple times a day. But for someone who suffered a stroke or a spinal cord injury, that maneuver can take months of physical therapy in order to relearn. Brittany explains how a car transit simulator offers real-time training in a safe environment for patients regaining mobility. Come on up, sir. It's been one month since a farming accident left Lucas Stewart pinned underneath a hay bale. When it happened, I knew it broke, I broke my back. In an instant, Stewart lost the feeling in much of his body and with it, the ability to walk, stand or drive. And he's been practicing this, so he does very well. Chris the St. Patrick Hospital I'm occupational therapist Orlando Berlanga has been working uh, with Stewart in this react. transit car transfer simulator. A safe alternative to practicing in the parking lot of the hospital. The only real time option prior to this equipment. We would practice on different level of mat tables and then we would definitely go down to their actual car if they could bring it up here and do hands on with their car. This system will adjust to the height of your car, truck or SUV. You can raise the height and it has hand controls for patients that can no longer use the foot pedals. Anybody that can't use their legs, they can use the hand control for the gas and the brake. One of the most important tests to see if it's safe for patients who once again behind the wheel looks at the reaction time when starting and stopping. Hit the accelerator and then I'm going to test it. The reaction test can give an accurate gauge of how safe it is for a patient to get back behind the wheel. We know they can get in the car safely and we can do actual practice with their families and make sure that everything is safe. Stewart says the therapy can be exhausting, but it's worth seeing little improvements like the feeling returning to his legs. I come in and do the best I can. You know, I try to do it as much as I can. Place the slide board right underneath you. Stewart's dream is to see this car transit simulator bring him one step closer to his ultimate goal. I plan on trying to walk again. At your service with HealthCast, Brittany Glazer, KPLC 7 News. Brittany says the transit simulator at Christus was donated by the Tarver family with Tarver Ford and Lake Charles, Charles Toyota. The system cost about $15,000. Ben, let's take a look at our Sunrise Facebook.